ladies and gentlemen of Bachelor Nation, we have breaking news to report to everybody today. Hello, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic, host of Bachelor Nation News. The next Bachelor of the 2023 year has been released. It is not Nate. This is not the next Bachelor. This is a red herring. We like to uh, not share any spoilers. And sometimes when you have a YouTube video, the thumbnail will give away who the Bachelor is. So I want to make sure you guys know it is not Nate. But follow me on Instagram at dneals for behind-the-scenes content, stand-up comedy, show dates, and all that jazz. I'm also live right now on Patreon as this story breaks, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. So we're going to get into who it is in like less than 30 seconds. Trust me on that one. Big shout-out to Mrs. K. She's our teacher of the day, teaches kindergarten in a small town in California. Click on the link in the comments section below if you want to donate to her definitely just buy her a couple um, packets of colored pencils and other things that she needs for her classroom and we'd be super appreciative of that I've also got a video on NFL legend Brett Favre being exposed on the Dave Neal show trust me when I say this is a fascinating video he stole millions of dollars from Mississippi the poorest state in the country's welfare program and he is getting exposed for the second time if you know you know all right new bachelor 2023 just revealed by reality Steve he says as we know no, plans can't officially change, always change last minute, and it won't be official till next Tuesday, but I feel confident in reporting the next Bachelor is going to be not Meatball. It's not Meatball. That's your second red herring. We need to juke. We need to jive. We're going to get into it right now. The next Bachelor, are you guys ready? The next Bachelor of 2023, breaking news, is Zach shall cross. Zach shall cross his way into Fantasy Suites, hopefully... We'll have to see how this all goes, but this is who The Bachelor has as the next Bachelor. The producers have picked Zach Shall Cross. We reported yesterday the rumors that it might have been Ben Smith. People thought maybe earlier today, we thought maybe Greg Grippo, but no, it is finalist from Rachel Recchia's season of The Bachelorette, Zach Shall Cross, who of course exited unceremoniously yesterday. We'll get into this full breaking news. Of course, there he was. Look. When he puts a suit on, he looks like a bachelor. I know people are going to go, oh, another white guy. I understand. Um, I thought Avon would have been in the running. I don't know uh, the politics behind why it is Zach. Uh, but I actually thought when Zach and Rachel were talking, I thought they might have still had something. She was very open towards him. Uh, of course, he just didn't feel like she was that into him she let him go there were tears he's not one to sort of give it up emotionally he's kind of a stoic guy but again if we remember here we see the the movie theater with zach and rachel you remember them there they are ladies and gentlemen the bachelor of 2023 presenting zach shellcross am i pronouncing that right shellcross shellcross either way i thought they had a fantastic date I thought he was a fantastic finalist. He's got a relatively spotless reputation. Um, Zach and Rachel come face to face live after he questions if their romance was real. Can this be real? Tell me, can this be true? Who in the world wants me to be the next Bachelor 2023? Um, anyway, uh, so he's kind of a uh, look. Everyone said, all right, enough pilots, more accountants. Well, here he is. Zach's a senior cloud technology sales executive at Oracle. <laughs> Snooze. Wake up. There he is, his LinkedIn page. Yeah, you want a nice, boring guy who's, you know, not in it for the wrong reasons, then Zach's your guy. And I mean that respectfully, Zach. You seem like a nice guy. You seem like the type of guy who buys his friends drinks because you make a lot of money and all that jazz. I think women would swoon for a guy that's just a normal senior cloud technology sales executive. What does a senior cloud technology sales executive do? I'm not sure, but the answer's probably in the sky. Get it? Cloud joke. Serious. Serious? Stratus? Either way, let's see if he can... Um, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a cloud pun. Let's see if he can uh, precipitate, uh, <laughs> make those ladies moist. Oh, come on, Dave. It's a family show. Oh, boy. All right. So anyway, Zach's uh, doing his thing. Uh, Bachelorette star Zach also has an uncle who's famous, as we know, Patrick Warbar in Warburton. Oh, boy, these names. Uh, of course, is his uncle. We met him at the hometowns. But Zach's doing... I mean, he's a... You know, he's a basic guy when he does the old thumb pistols in their pockets doesn't know how to pose just a good looking guy with a nice smile of course rachel questioned whether or not he was old enough you know because he was you know i don't know what one month younger than rachel uh but it just wasn't going to work out for them uh 
Zach's got that kind of throaty voice, just like his uncle does there. But um, either way, it looks like Rachel landed a good first impression when Zach got out of the limo. Um, but uh, there they are. And by the way, I'll take this time to promote my live stream. We actually f we found this information out live on the Patreon live stream. Here is me finding out who the next Bachelor is going to be. I, I'm honest when I say this. I had no idea who it was going to be. Watch what we just watched on the private oh, Patreon. Wait, hold on. We might have breaking news. Next Bachelor. Okay, I'm going to share this. If, if this is true, we have a breaking news story of who the next Bachelor is. Okay? So if you're about to share who the next Bachelor is, I have no idea who this is. My guess is it might be Greg Grippo. I thought Greg Grippo. Let's watch. You guys ready? Wow. There it is, folks. But I feel confident reporting that the next Bachelor is going to be Zach. Wow. All right, there you have it. That was my reaction. You can go check the full conversation we had behind the scenes over there. And let's see what some people are saying on Reality Steve's Twitter. I'm going to click the enter button here and go down. You know, no one's ever happy. When Clayton was announced as The Bachelor, people were pissed off, right? And then we ended up liking Clayton. He created good drama. The show wants a lead that, that's in it to win it that wants to find love, that can also work with the producers. So what we don't know about the behind the scenes is Zach's ability to work with the producers, but my guess is he's got a little bit of that entertainment in his blood and is able to put on a good show. He was so in love with Rachel, but now he's ready to be The Bachelor. What Rachel uh, What Rachel be shocked unless she, are, she knows already. He was ready. He told her. This guy romanced her like such a gentleman. He fell for her, but she did not fall for him. Zach is not a bad boy or edgy. He is more courtly. There will be some women that love that angle too. Uh, Snapping Jaws McGinty said, Zach's going to be the next Bachelor. And then, of course, he called it. Not surprised at all, especially after last night's episode and the edit Zach received. Best of luck to him. Yep, but he's going to be a, like a Clayton, I feel. Well, I think he's going to learn from Clayton's mistake. I think he's going to have more empathy than Clayton did. Respectfully, Clayton, of course, was in it for himself. <coughs> Excuse me, Dayquil Dave, just trying to get through the day. By the way, hit the like button. I've been super under the weather making videos nonstop for you, uh, for you animals out there. So definitely hit the like button if you don't mind. Uh, someone said, why? He wasn't ready for engagement because it moved quickly, and now he is ready because he gets to be the front runner. So distasteful. Oh, can it, Laurel. Of course, he has a D-list celebrity family member. Uh, first of all, Patrick Warburton is not a D-list celebrity. He's a working actor. Oh, I hate when people say that. Oh, I hate it. D-list celebrity? No, he's a working actor. He's been on some of the best shows of all time. For everyone saying it should be Avon, the show isn't going to pick someone to be the lead that won't get engaged at the end. That's why they didn't pick Avon. That's a good point. That's a good point. You know? Uh, bachelor producer production doesn't choose leads who have said they're not ready to be engaged. I've been on the edge with being done with bachelor bachelorette and this pushes it over. I have no interest in Zach's journey. <laughs> I love how, uh, um, I don't know. Righteous. We're all are white, tall, mediocre, three bachelor stipulations. Check, check, check. Is he tall? Um, I can see it. The franchise really needs a shakeup. It's getting stale. Um, all right. So anyway, those are your comments for uh, having it be Zach. Uh, the, uh, oh, we lost it right there. Hold on a second here. Where is the... Uh, I'm trying to look for the photos here. We're shooting this live, folks. So anyway... Bachelor 2023 has been revealed. By the way, for my Photoshop image, I use Logan because, of course, I'm not trying to spoil it, uh, who it is like that. Uh, but anyway, folks, that's it for me. Let me know what you guys think about this live update here. Our next Bachelor. Hey, always subject to change. We'll have to see if it remains the case here to be Zach. I like it. I like Zach. Not a pick I thought would happen, but I thought he handled himself well. Link in the comment section below. Also, if you want, check out my new video right there. Brett Favre on The Dave Neal Show. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.